how worried should we be about this in vaccinated circles? Uh, people getting this either the Delta variant or some version of, of coronavirus. Yeah, Ali, first of all, thanks for having me back. Um, I think this is to be expected for a couple of reasons. One is we're seeing massive outbreaks in unvaccinated individuals. We have a lot of virus circulating around. Uh, it's going to challenge vaccinated people, and we're going to see a few breakthroughs. So this is not totally surprising. Uh, the good news is the people who've had these breakthrough infections have had mild disease. And that says to me that the vaccines are working. We never thought these vaccines were 100%. And the best way to prevent breakthrough infections is to reduce the amount of infections in the community, which is get more people vaccinated. Can I, I heard something I, I, I never really got my head around the term, but viral load when we were talking about how infectious uh, something is. We used to talk about it compared to the flu, you know, a year ago. Uh, is is the viral load such that people who are vaccinated can be spreading this to other people? Yeah, they can, but far less likely to. And that's the key thing. So there are a couple of differences between unvaccinated and vaccinated people. Unvaccinated people obviously spread quite efficiently. Uh, they spread when they don't have symptoms. Vaccinated people tend to have much, much lower viral loads. Uh, so they're much less likely to spread uh, asymptomatically. And even when they're having really bad symptoms, they can spread it to other people, but it's not that common. The uh, the efficacy, we've seen certain studies that show that um, the main vaccines that we've got uh, have some degree of efficacy against the Delta variant doesn't mean you're not going to get it. It means you can get it. Uh, generally speaking, are if you are in, if you are vaccinated and you get this Delta variant, will you experience lesser symptoms? Yeah, exactly. There are two things going on. First, you are much less likely to get it. So let's be very clear. If you're vaccinated, you are less likely to get any kind of infection. But if you're unlucky enough to get infected, you're going to have much milder disease. Look, I don't want to be infected. Nobody wants to be infected with a, with a Delta variant or any other variant. But what we care about most is avoiding hospitalizations and deaths. And the vaccines seem to be just really terrific at doing that. I want to play for you uh, something that Dr. Fauci said at a Senate hearing today about the, the duration of efficacy also, of the vaccines. Let's just let's listen to that together. There are also areas of, of immunity that are more difficult to measure, like T-cell responses. But the one that seems to be very well correlated is the antibody level. We know from studies from the clinical trials, as well as from animal studies, that there's a baseline level below which you go, you're at much more vulnerable to getting a breakthrough infection. Now, the question that he was being asked was about the duration of the efficacy of vaccines. As we get further and further away from the first people who got vaccinated uh, when, when these vaccines came out, does this become more of a danger? And, and how does that work into this concept of booster shots? Yeah, it's a, it's a great question. There's a lot we still don't know, but here's how I would think about it. There are two arms of the immunity. There is the antibodies that Dr. Fauci was talking about. Think of that as your kind of active forces. And then you have your reserves, the T cells. And what we're seeing is some early data that you get a little bit of waning of your active forces, the antibody levels. And so we're going to see some more breakthrough cases. We're not seeing any waning of the T cells, your reserves. So even if you get a breakthrough, the T cells kick in and they prevent you from getting severe disease. So I, I think we have very good data right now that says you're going to have really long term protection against severe illness. But those breakthrough illnesses are a problem and we don't know when they're going to start becoming more common. And we may need a booster, especially more vulnerable, high risk. Imagine older people, people in nursing homes. I think they may need a booster shot sometime sooner rather than later. Can this come to an end if we still have a whole bunch of people who don't want to get vaccinated? Boy, it's going to be a lot harder because not just talking about this horrible Delta variant, but we're also talking about future variants like this thing comes to an end. I mean, I, you know, to me, it, what's striking about people who have not yet gotten vaccinated is don't we all want to put this behind us? Like, aren't we ready to move on from COVID? I am. And the only way that's going to happen is if 90 percent, 85, 90 percent of people uh, have immunity to this. We just need a lot more people getting vaccinated. And until that happens, we're going to continue struggling with this.